Now on Face the State, the beaches are open. So are the restaurants. And this week, the casinos. How is the reopening of Connecticut going? We'll talk with Jeffrey Flax, CEO and president of Hartford HealthCare. Plus, he's back in the news as the man behind the masks. Former candidate for governor Bob Stefanowski is with us to talk about what he's been up to and what he thinks of Governor Lamont. Also, the end of an era, the longest serving justice on the Connecticut Supreme Court is forced to retire. And he's with us today. Justice Richard Palmer is our guest. It's all straight ahead this Sunday, May 31st, 2020. From Eyewitness News, Connecticut's most watched local political program, this is Face the State. A good Sunday morning to you. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dennis House. Welcome to Face the State. You just saw the newest Connecticut COVID-19 numbers. Hospitals are under tremendous pressure these days in treating the sick. First off this Sunday, the president and CEO of Hartford HealthCare, Jeffrey Flax. And Mr. Flax, great to see you here. Thanks for joining us once again, Jeff. My pleasure. Good morning, Dennis. So as we approach now, we're looking at phase two. And this week, we might see the casinos opening. In your judgment, you think that's a good idea? Well, I think we have to continue to be cautious. We have better data than we've ever had before. You know, Dennis, the testing is so broad today. I mean, we alone at Hartford HealthCare have nine testing centers set up daily in, in two mobile units that we deploy somewhere different each day. Uh, so we're able to see day to day What's the testing results telling us? What's the prevalence within the community? What's the activity within the different hospitals? Uh, so I'm encouraged in terms of the numbers are falling. I think the policies and procedures we've put in place are working. Uh, and I think we have to continue to be cautious. We have to watch it very closely on a day-to-day -day basis. And if we need to, we have to dial things back. But as we continue to put new things in place, I think the key word is caution. Uh, as we go forward. And I want to touch on that word caution. What kind of advice do you have for people who are now going out in public, some for the first time? Well, I think the, the issues around social distancing, uh, the measures we're taking around wearing face masks, uh, the importance of hand hygiene uh, are all critical. Uh, we're seeing it in office buildings. We're seeing it in so many different settings. I'll tell you, we're advising most of the large employers now within the region uh, around changing the physical aspects of their workplace, putting new procedures in place about break rooms, around elevators. Uh, these are all appropriate precautions to take during this time period. So. Uh, I think people can re-enter, can go back out to different locations, uh, but to use good judgment as they're doing it and to make sure that they're wearing their protections uh, and hand hygiene is really crucial. We've been getting some conflicting opinions on whether ordinary people who don't have any symptoms should go out and get tested for COVID-19 or perhaps take the antibody test. What advice does Hartford HealthCare give to those people? Uh, both are available. Uh, so, so we have widespread testing available today. It's never been more accessible. It's never been easier to get. Uh, so for people who, 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 who consult with their physician uh, or their clinician uh, and want testing, even without symptoms, we encourage people to do that. Uh, and we're testing many more asymptomatic people, so people without symptoms than ever before. Uh, at the same point, you know, that tells you at that moment uh, if you're carrying the virus uh, in an active sense. When but for people who want to see if they've had the test, the antibody test is an outstanding solution. Uh, and we're seeing widespread use of the antibody test also. What kind of criteria is used to officially declare the pandemic over when that should happen? You know, I don't know if I know the specific answer to that. I, th I think what's key uh, is, is to see a few different measures. So one is what's the positive incidence uh, based on the widespread testing we're doing uh, and to see when that, you know, when, when and how we see is there still COVID in our communities. Uh, secondly, are people being admitted to the hospital and are showing up COVID positive? Uh, so to me, those are two important measures that we're looking at very closely. Uh, but absent a vaccine, you know, we're preparing certainly from a health standpoint to ensure that we can care for people who are COVID positive and at the same point, do all the services that are essential to the community that are necessary to care for the health and well-being of all people uh, at all times. As you know, right now, people are wearing masks at Hartford HealthCare when they work at the hospital and visitors are not allowed. When do we see some of this loosening up a little bit and changing? So we're evaluating it every day. Uh, so I, I will tell you, I don't, I don't foresee any time in the near future that we're, we're going to see uh, people within our facilities without having masks. Dennis, we still, we still do temperature checking. We still do a series of questions and a screening process for everyone who enters our building. Uh, every day and any patient today who's having a planned surgical procedure three to five days in advance is having COVID-19 testing. So uh, we're going to maintain those precautions, I think, for the foreseeable future. Uh, I think it's important to do 
uh, as, as time goes forward. And again, the data will tell us at what point in time we think we can relax it. Many of our viewers want to know what goes on in the hospital. Let's say that a COVID patient is in a car accident, comes into the ER, cannot speak and tell you that he or she has COVID. What kind of testing is done to determine whether this person could be putting others at risk? Yeah, so we are effectively testing every patient, uh, but we also have precautions in place now in terms of how we segregate patients, uh, all the personal protective equipment that each one of our staff members wears, uh, the different personal protective equipment that we actually have patients wear. Uh, so th these measures are working. Uh, we're seeing, uh, we're doing a research study right now, Dennis, a very interesting study, uh, and we've tested several thousand members who are frontline healthcare workers within Hartford Healthcare, and the incidence rate of people who work for Hartford Healthcare who've tested positive uh, with antibodies is, is low single digits right now. Uh, the test is not official uh, yet, uh, but the early indications show that a very few members of our team, in fact, have tested positive, thankfully. We've been profiling healthcare workers who really are heroes in the fight against this pandemic coming into work, and we have some retirees coming out of retirement to help out a little bit. In terms of people applying for jobs, wanting to go into the healthcare industry and perhaps work at Hartford Hospital, have you seen an uptick in this or is it kind of flat? Uh, we have. We've started to see an uptick. Look, has there ever been a better time to work in healthcare? I mean, it, the work that we do is so critical, it's so important, uh, and, and we're seeing that there's a calling. People realize that they can make a difference, they can contribute to, to our community, to society. Uh, and to help people where they're most vulnerable. So thankfully, we are seeing uh, a greater interest in people going into healthcare. And I also hope, Dennis, it's gonna carry over to our education and training programs as, as time goes forward. And in terms of, of the number of people who've come out of retirement, has it, was there that surge that you talked about that so many people wanted to do it? Yeah, there were many people. Uh, and it, it's been critically important to us. We had so many people help. And also, Dennis, one of the great stories is there's so many different people. We have cardiologists who were working in an office for 30 years who came back in and worked in critical care units, anesthesiologists who were redeployed to oversee all the ventilator dependent patients. I mean, there's so many examples of people who were retired coming into the workforce that then enabled other people to go into different positions. So just the mass influx of people wanting to help when the, when the moments have mattered most has been incredibly rewarding to watch and it was critical to us uh, to respond to this crisis. Jeff Flax, the president and CEO of Hartford HealthCare. We love having you here with us every Sunday for Face the State. And, but of course, we all hope for that day to come when the pandemic is over and we no longer need your insight every week. But thank you very much for being with us and enjoy the rest of your weekend. You too. Thanks so much, Dennis. In a moment, Bob Stefanowski. And I welcome you to watch past editions, past interviews on Face the State, right on our YouTube channel or on the Channel 3 app.